right, guys, it's review time. I uh, just wanted to do this one really quick. Uh, grab some wings from Jack's Place, the salt and pepper ones. Uh, this is a review for uh, Kyle's Hot Sauce. So uh, I was gifted this a little while back. Uh, this is Kyle's Hot Sauce Company uh, out of uh, Salt Spring Island. This is their um, original hot sauce. There's a couple different types. Um, I might try and have them on the screen for you guys. This one's going to be short and sweet, uh, but I'm a big hot sauce fan. So um, when I found out that I was going to be getting this, I was pretty excited. Um, it's handmade. It's got number six for the heat on there, because I guess there's a different uh, number for all the different heat um, types. Um, and it's made with black garlic. Uh, like I said, made on um, Salt Spring Island. Shake well. Um, so the ingredients on this one is uh, Carolina Reaper is number one. Uh, habanero, red bell pepper, uh, smoked paprika, white vinegar, balsamic vinegar, black garlic, white garlic, and black onion. Uh, sweet onion, roasted tomato, salt, black pepper, avocado oil, cane sugar, and xanthan gum to give it a little bit of that, keep it all together. Uh, Call Sauce Co. Inc. located in uh, Upper Ganges Road, Salt Spring Island. So let's give it a whirl here. Um, I think I've mentioned this before in a couple of my reviews, but my family is from uh, Barbados. For the most part, like both my parents are from Barbados. So I actually get um, hot sauce sometimes sent to me from family members uh, from a company called Delish, D-E-L-I-S-H. Uh, and it's kind of got like a yellowish uh, color to it. But I love it in the summertime for like prawns and shrimp and putting on burgers and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm not like, I don't like, like the hottest hot sauce ever, but I like it hot for sure. Um, like say if I go to like noodle box, I usually get like medium high for heat. Okay, so I'm not really doing a review on the wings right now. Maybe I'll kind of throw that in there. These are from Jack's. These are other salt and pepper, which I figured would be the most plain to try the hot sauce with. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna put a little bit on this little plate here. And then I'm gonna put some on the actual, right on the wing. Okay, taste test, Kyle's Sauce Co. Hot sauce made with black garlic. Definitely got some zing to it. Um, let's try another one here. Right off the bat, first bite. It's hot. It's definitely hot. Um, six out of ten. I guess that's probably a pretty good mark because I haven't tried his hotter versions, but definitely tastes like Carolina Reaper. But it's also nice. It's not like overpowering hot. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, by the way, merch, got the hat in, I uh, got a t-shirt coming in soon. Um, if you guys want to support the channel, you know, I'm looking to um, uh, go up island and finish more reviews and go to Vancouver. Or, uh, so if you do want to support me, uh, you know, buying the merch is a great way to do it. And then you're also repping it around the city. Um, I do have a uh, buy me a coffee link down below as well, which is in $5 increments. Uh, and then I also do have a GoFundMe page and then you'll see the, uh, the description on there of kind of what I'm trying to do. So anything helps, you know, even five bucks, uh, put it towards the cause. Um, anybody who does any of the donations essentially is going to get shouted out on the channel when it comes to um, buy me a coffee and uh, go fund me. Uh, and then if you buy the merch, definitely uh, take a picture of it, tag me, and I will post it on my YouTube and my Instagram. Okay. Second go here, salt and pepper wings, Kyle's hot sauce. Yeah, it's nice. It's um, it's not got like a crazy amount of flavor, like um, say like Jack's or sorry, <laughs> like Frank's red hot sauce. But um, I mean, it's nice. Um, for a hot sauce though, like I'm obviously comparing it to put a little carrot in here just to see.
I mean, I'm kind of comparing it to the, the Bayesian hot sauces that I get. Um, it's got a good spice to it for sure. Um, you know, it's not like crazy, crazy, like flavorful as far as like having different flavors other than hot because it is just mostly peppers. Um, but okay, let's put it this way because I'm going to come down to the rating. If you're somebody who likes hot sauce, hot, hot, this is going to be something really good. Um, and like I said, it doesn't really deter from other flavors in your food. It just kicks it up a notch. Um, but from the flavors that it does have, they're very, very nice. Just, just kind of slight. Yeah. It's a nice hot sauce. I like it. And the fact that it's local, you know, I would put this above, um, Frank's obviously and all those ones. Paper towel is over there. Okay. Um, rating time for this. Yeah, like it's definitely got a little bit of burn, but not to the point where it is uncomfortable. Um, first hot sauce I've ever rated, guys, so take it with a bit of a grain of salt. But it's good. Um, I'm going to rate the heat. Um, so heat out of 10. For me, I would say it's probably like a like an 8, 8.5. Like it's pretty hot for sure. Um, but I could continue to eat it and it's not going to be uncomfortable. But I mean, there's definitely some heat to it for sure. Um, rating out of 10 for a hot sauce. For a good local hot sauce, made on Salt Spring Island, gotta support local. I'm gonna give it, uh, you know what, around the same as the as the heat. I'm gonna give it like a, an 8, 8.8 8 .8 out of 10. It's a really good hot sauce. Uh, I recommend trying it. More reviews coming soon. On to the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my review of the original hot sauce by Kyle Sauce Co. Please subscribe on YouTube and hit that like button if you can. Cheers.